You treat me bad You make me weak My dreams when I used to go to school were, uh, music school, uh, were pretty simple because I didn't know anything pretty much so my dreams grow stronger with the time and with me getting better but my first dream was to be able to play a song and to maybe play in a bar with a friend and make money under a bridge just singing and playing a harmonica it was very simple I didn't have big dreams of I don't know being famous or touring around the world it was very about me learning what all I had to learn about music. I wasn't dreaming about big, big things. You know. My best memory from the time that I, when I used to go to school, must be when I first met my first band. It was called Rolling and Tumbling, and it was a swing, rock and roll, blues band in Rome. They were really great musicians and I was just starting music and they took me, they gave me really a, an opportunity to, to play on stage with them and with good musicians a lot better than I was and uh, yeah, that's a great memory. When I left the music school I, I started playing in bars and clubs with friends uh, writing songs, my first songs, and recording my first songs. Then we won some contests, you know, and uh, the, the, the prizes were to play in some festivals in, in France and in Canada. And so suddenly I had the chance to, to play in front of a lot of people and uh, meeting professional musicians and play with them and uh, so this helped a lot from, you know, when you're in a music school, you don't know what you're going to do after your studies. You, a lot of people just stop playing music and uh, have the chance to, yeah, to meet people, to be able to play in a lot of places and to travel with the music very quickly. So, and I did my first uh, self-produced album and uh, yeah, I started touring with that. My first recording was a, an album called, a self-produced album called Mainly Blue, and it was, uh, I think, uh, if I remember well, an 11 pieces album, yeah, 11 songs. And um, only compositions, uh, originals. And um, I didn't really have, a, again, expectation. I had some songs that I wanted to record, and I, so I started calling friends and musicians to and put them together, put a band together and I'm still working with the same people and it was in 2005 I think. Uh, the main influence in, in this album was uh, blues music but it was an original song so I, I'm, I wasn't trying to copy a style, you know, an old style blues. It was just my interpretation of the blues at the time. There is this contest called the Memphis Blues Challenge. Each country send one album, and uh, the U.S. can send one album from, for state. Basically, they have 50 uh, American CDs and uh, one album for country. So one album for representing France, Italy, uh, England, and. Yeah, at the end of the, comp the competition, only five albums, only five albums were uh, selected uh, to win the prize, and I was the only international album with four Americans. I was 23 years old, and uh, it was cool for me. It was something that helped me a lot. 